Hello everybody, my name is Kelly and today I will be doing a review on the Yamaha Silent Brass Trumpet new thing. So I've heard a lot of terrible things about this product and I wasn't planning on buying it but my brother got it for me for my birthday because apparently my trumpet's too loud but I never practice at home. So um, one thing I've heard about this product is it has like really terrible wrap back pressure. Like it's basically like you're playing on a Harman mute except worse. Not that playing on a Harman mute is bad, you know, because when you play on a Harman mute there is back pressure. But beside the point. So when you get this box, it comes in a box, and on the back of it, it has some of the features. It says, practice anytime, anywhere. Silence never sounded so good. It's like a paradox, I think. Um, yeah, so as you can see in the picture, you got your trumpet mute, and you put it in your trumpet. I guess you connect it to this little Walkman thing, and you plug in your the earbuds, I guess, that comes with it. You can also put in like a CD player, or a music device or mp3 player or yeah to open up the box and see what you get here some sort of an auxiliary cord batteries earbuds that look like they're maybe a half a step up from the stuff that you used to get with an ipod and more auxiliary cords thingy which is i guess is what you plug everything into your personal studio. Of course, the mute. If we follow the directions, which I'm probably not going to do, I guess we put the batteries in the personal studio, I guess is a good place to start. One battery. So just put it in the water. The plus. Plus. It's not chargeable, which I guess would have been some sort of a plus, because you know how batteries work. They don't. The little ear buddy things. Not bad, actually fit pretty well. So according to the picture, yeah, I guess I just take this giant auxiliary cord thing, really heavy duty stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you put it in here. There's a little picture where it has a trumpet and a microphone. So I guess you put the pair in contrast purposes. Here is my trumpet, it is, is a Getson Eterna 700, the same one everyone else has. And I will just play a few notes just to demonstrate what it sounds without the silent brass mute. And before I begin, I'd like to state that I am not the best trumpet player in the world, nor do I aspire, aspire to be. So keep your judgments to yourself. So just, so I'm in my living room, sound quality. It's a little more open space, not quite the Carnegie Hall, but you know. So, so, just gonna play a tuning B flat just to compare and contrast. So yeah, that's that. It's pretty loud, I guess. It's my, I haven't quite warmed up. I haven't actually played my trumpet in a week. What a terrible person I am. You got your mute, you got your trumpet, mute in the trumpet. Then you got your earbuds, the ones I came with. They are Yamaha branded for you headphone junkies out there. Without turning it on, this is what it sounds like without, this is what, this is what it sounds like, like the outs, yeah. Yeah, so it sort of sounds like, um, the sound is sort of like a Harman mute, except it's a lot quieter. Like, it definitely doesn't mute the trumpet sound completely, but it definitely, like, turns the volume down a little bit. So, let's turn it on and see how this, see how this sounds. It definitely sounds like I'm tapping, like, a microphone or something. Like, it's, it's literally just a microphone. Okay, that's really loud. So, yeah, this thing, it just literally, it's just a microphone. And you shove it in your trumpet. The um the sound that comes out, it sounds like you're playing on a Harmon mute with one of these things in it. Like it sounds like this. Except a lot more crunched together. Like the tone quality is not like on a scale of one to ten, like one being that sophomore kid who thinks he can play a double G and a ten like someone who plays the trumpet for a living, it's probably like a two. 
it's not the best tone quality, but you're here, but you hear yourself play and others don't. So, which is the purpose of this thing. So, yeah. Um, if we turn on the echo effect, turn it down a little bit. So you play it and it's the exact same sound, that kind of crunchy Harmon mute sound. I, I don't know if crunchy is right the word. It, it feels very, yeah, like, yeah, like sounds like that. And um, it's like that, but it echoes out like a nice tonal trumpet sound, which is, I don't know if that's like some sort of an auto tune or if it's like your actual trumpet playing, but it's very delayed. So when you're like practicing in the moment, like if you're doing something fast, you wouldn't be able to hear it like at that instant. It's, it's like a very delayed sound. It's, it's essentially just an echo. So yeah, if I switch out, these headphones are pretty nice. I might use them to go jogging sometime. Um, for like a nicer pair, these are my Bose something or another's. I got at Best Buy, because Best Buy. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same thing, same sound. Um, a little nicer, it's not so shoved in my ear as earbuds is. But you know, that depends on the quality of headphone. Yeah, same thing. Um, nice little crunchy little harmony mix sound, like and it echoes out a nice tonal trumpet sound. So I'd say this product, it's a very, it's a good product to use if you are like in a house or, you know, hanging out somewhere and you just want to practice like some music, like, you know, rhythms and notes and stuff. And you just want to get those down. Like this is a good thing to use, but if you're practicing like overall sound quality and tone quality, you know, blend balance, all that stuff, then you're better off just getting a practice room. It, you can't real this thing you can't really determine sound quality at all except for the delayed thing which again I don't know if that's legit or if that's just technology as far as back pressure goes um, it's it's like you're playing a regular mute if there's a little more back pressure I'd say than playing on a straight mute but you know what are you gonna do um yeah so that's the Yamaha Silent Grass Trumpet Mute review. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested, I know there are like a million of these on eBay, so see you later.